Sunday, July 30th, 930 Mountain Time, 2017. You're looking at a graph of the Schumann resonance, the frequency of planet Earth. When it was discovered many years ago, it was discovered at an area of 7.83. Since then, or at least recently, that frequency has been increasing. Last night, this is a huge spike in that frequency. The night before last, on the 29th, a big spike was recorded. Didn't last quite as long as this one here. Nevertheless, there was a big spike recorded. Go back to Monday, the 25th, the 24th into the 25th, saw an even bigger spike, longer duration. So there is activity, once again in the Schumann Resonance, that is indicating a surge in the, uh, the vibration, the frequency. HeartMath.org, they've recorded it over here as well. That's the spike on Monday. Let's go back to the 30-day graph. There you go. That's on Monday. That's last night. And this was the week before. There was yet another spike. This is why we do the UV readings, or at least this is why I started, and there are a lot of good people that have joined me in this effort to measure the electromagnetic spectrum of planet Earth. And part of that electromagnetic spectrum is the Schumann resonance. Photons from space, whether it be from the sun or other areas, we're surrounded by, by light, by photons. And let, let's say that we have changed position in the galaxy. Let's say we are in a denser area, maybe a different photon belt of some sort. Well, there's more light. The vibration is different. Well, of course Earth is going to respond to that vibration. It's going to feel that energy and respond accordingly. And so are you. So am I. So is every living creature on Earth. It's part of the electromagnetic spectrum. And you are interwoven into that electromagnetic spectrum 100%. Trust me. It makes up electromagnetic radiation. That's what we measure every day. We're looking for change in that spectrum. That's why we do it. We're trying to help. Okay? We're trying to see the unseen. Because remember this, and I've said this for a long time, there's more of what you cannot see than what you can see. What you cannot see has a bigger impact on your life than what you can. Just like what's affecting the weather. Over here, climate chaos. I'm not promoting my channel. Subscribe if you like. But what this is, is a channel I started. Back when I started doing the UV readings, I knew if the frequency of Earth were to change and to change rapidly, so would the weather. And it is. The weather is changing. If you watch the Weather Channel, you're seeing veteran meteorologists scratching their head. They're seeing things that they've never seen before. The Schumann Resonance is changing. Earth and everything about it is going to change. And I've noticed too, and I know most of you guys have noticed it as well, the sun is different. A lot of you youngsters, it's going to be a little uh, more difficult to relate to. But when I was a kid, the sun was a pleasant orange. And also when I was a kid, sunblock wasn't really a mainstream item because you really didn't need it. You could play outside all day and get a golden tan. I mean, it had to be an extreme situation, and it was pretty rare to get a bad sunburn back then. Now, nowadays, it's very common. So the sun is changing. So that tells me the sun is responding to something different. Maybe it's responding to different position in the galaxy. That's what I think. But anyway, this is a Schumann Resonance update. There has been a big increase recorded last night, and there was also a big increase recorded last Monday. And that was a very strong event. So this is something that is very, very interesting. It affects us all. Scientific studies have been done that, that prove brainwaves respond to this frequency. So it's changing. It is increasing. Sometimes we're seeing spikes. We saw one last night, and I will keep you guys updated as time uh, moves forward. But this is very important. Thanks for watching, and be safe out there.